Today, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given these equations, a cubed plus abc equals 7, b cubed plus abc equals 14, and c cubed minus abc equals 21, wherein a, b, and c are all real numbers, then the goal is to evaluate this expression, a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given these three equations wherein a, b, and c are all real numbers, then the goal is to evaluate this expression a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Now to answer this, of course, let's use these three equations. We have three equations and three unknowns. So this is possible. And to answer this, one thing to notice is when we add 7 and 14, we have 21. And it's always good when our equation is equal to 0. So what we're going to do is to subtract the third equation from the first and the second. And if we do that, we get something like a cubed plus b cubed minus c cubed plus 3a times b times c equals 7 plus 14 minus 21. Again, this is 21 minus 21 or simply equal to 0. And we have here this expression on the left hand side. And now, from here, recall this identity. If we have x plus y plus z equals 0, then x cubed plus y cubed plus c cubed equals 3 times x times y. So, in our given equation, what we're going to do is to subtract 3 a, b, c on both sides. And one thing to notice here is this negative c cubed. Because we can rewrite this as a cubed plus b cubed plus negative c raised to the power of 3. Still, this is just minus c cubed. All right? And also, this negative sign, we can put this negative sign to this variable c, like this. Still, this is just negative 3abc. All right? And this looks something like this identity. If this is true, then we can say that x plus y plus z equals 0. And if this is true, we can say that a plus b minus c equals 0. All right, so we can say also that a plus b equals c. Now, let's use this result to answer this question. So we know a plus b equals c. So using the first equation, a cubed plus a b c equals 7, we can replace this c with a plus b like this. And now we can factor out a on the left hand side. So we have a multiplied by a squared plus b multiplied by a plus b. Now, distribute this b, so we have a squared plus ab plus b squared equals 7. Now, let's set aside this result. And now, let's use the second equation. So, b cubed plus ab times c. Now, this c again, we can replace this with a plus b, and we will do just the same thing. Factor out b, and then distribute this a to a plus b. So, our second result is b multiplied by b squared plus ab plus a squared equals 14. Now, using these two equations, notice we have a common term of a squared plus ab plus b squared. And to eliminate this, what we're going to do is to divide these two equations like this. Now, a squared plus ab plus b squared, this is just equivalent to just 1. So we can say that a over b equals 7 over 14. Now, 14 is 2 times 7, so 7 over 14 is just 1 over 2. And cross multiply, so we can say that b equals 2 times a. So now, we found that b equals 2 times a. And given that a plus b equals c, if b is 2a, so we can say that c equals 3a. Alright? And now, we are now ready to find the value of a, b, and c. So let's get... The first equation and let's replace this b and c with 2a and 3c respectively because b is 2a and c is 3a now multiply a times 2a times 3a this is just 6a cubed and a cubed plus 
6a cubed is 7a cubed. Divide both sides by 7, we have a cubed equals 1. Now, if we get the cube root on both sides, we get three possible values for a. One is real, and the two other values of a are imaginary. And since a, b, c are all real numbers, so we can say that a is just 1, the real value of a. And since we know the value of a is 1, and b is 2 times a, so b is just 2 times 1 or 2, c is 3 times a or 3 times 1, so c equals 3. And that is the value of a, b, and c. And we want their squares, so a squared is 1, b squared is 4, c squared is 9. And their sum is just 1 plus 4 plus 9, or simply equal to 14. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, given these three equations, where in a, b, c are all real numbers, then the numerical value of a squared plus b squared plus c squared is simply equal to 14. And as always, we are done.